In this question, we're going to divide $50 in the ratio of 1 to 3. So the first thing that we have to do is to add the parts of the ratio together. Our ratio is 1 to 3. So we've got 1 plus 3 is going to give us 4 parts in total. Our next step is we need to divide the quantity, so $50, by the number of parts. So we're going to take our quantity, which is $50, divide that by 4, and that gives us $12.50. Therefore, one part is going to be equal to $12.50. To work out what the three parts of the ratio is going to be, we have to multiply $12.50 by 3, and that gives us $37.50. So to divide $50 in the ratio of 1 to 3 is $12.50 to $37 dollars 50 and we can always check our answer because if we add 12 dollars 50 to 37 dollars 50 it should always add up to our original quantity okay so 12 dollars 50 plus 37 dollars 50 is equal to 50 dollars okay this is a very similar question we're going to start by adding the parts of our ratio together Okay, so we're going to add 3 plus 2 is equal to 5 parts in total. Okay, we're going to then divide our quantity. So to divide our 250 kilograms by the total number of parts. So 250 divided by 5 is going to equal 50 kilograms. Therefore, one part is equal to 50 kilograms. To work out now how many parts are in the ratio 3 to 2, we have to work out what three parts is going to be. We do that by multiplying one part, which is 50, by 3. So three parts is going to be equal to 150 kilograms. And then we need to work out what two parts is going to equal. So we do that by multiplying 50 by 2 and that's going to give us 100 kilograms. Therefore if we divide 250 kilograms in the ratio 3 to 2 our answer is going to be um, our three parts. We have to write that first so our three parts is 150 kilograms to our two parts which is 100 kilograms and once again we can check to make sure we have the correct answer by adding 150 and 100 together and it gives our original quantity of 250 kilograms.